All right, now that I've got this uh, first frame and trim case built, it's uh, time to move to the second one. Uh, this, this is for the, the kitchen window, and I need to do the uh, front window now, which is actually two windows. So because it's two windows and it's actually deeper, um, it's going to be more complicated to build. So I've got that centerpiece that I've got to take into consideration. So I, I don't have to just fit it into one opening. I have to fit it one frame into two openings. So it's going to be a little bit trickier to build, but uh, let's get going. All right, because this is four inches deep, and I know that uh, I need to add one and a half inches to that, and that's for the part that sticks out past the window, past the wall. So five and a half inches um, is what I need for my sill plate. And then I need four inches on the sideboard. So let's go ahead and cut the four sideboards first. So what I'm doing now is marking out what I need to remove. So this corner, and I've got this one marked, that needs to be removed as well. And now I need to figure out how much of the center needs to be removed. Okay, so 14 and a quarter from this edge. And 14 and an eighth from this edge. And then four inches up. Okay, that needs to be removed. Okay, I've got a small problem, and that is that the piece of trim that I need to cover this is three and three quarters inches. And all of my cutoffs are three and a half inches wide or less. I've got one board left, but I need this for the four inch piece across there. So that's going to be 30 and 5 eighths. This is going to be 20. So this needs to be 50 
and five eighths if I'm gonna get both boards out of it. So let's see what we've got. Yep. It is 55 and a half, so I can get both boards out of here. Yeah, looking out. Okay. Got this piece. Go right there. Now I need to get my top piece. All right, I need three more boards for my trim that comes on the outside. I actually need four, but I need this one here, which I can get out of this board. This one, which I can get out of this board, and this one, which I can get out of this board. This one is done. And then I'll need one for underneath don't know if this is long enough. It's just short. This needs to be another two inches long. Uh, that's okay. I've got another board that I can use to get that bottom piece. So let me make those cuts. Okay, now I need to rip these three to two inches wide. All right, every board is cut to length and depth. So now I need to cut out my, uh, my corners in this centerpiece for the uh, sill plate. All right, that's all the small clamps I got. So it looks like I can glue up two sides at a time. So we'll let those set up and dry. I've got them glued and pin nailed. Let them set up and then uh, we'll move on to the next. All right, I pulled these two out of the clamps, clamped up the centerpiece. Let it uh, sit overnight, so. Go ahead and get the clamps off. Got the sides in the center. Now I need to get the, uh, the top glued and attached and then we'll worry about the sill. All right, the two sides in the center are done. I just uh, finished gluing up the uh, top, so I'm just gonna finish sanding that. Alright, 
I found a piece of scrap that was long enough. I was able to rip it and cut it to length. So again, this is just a dry fit. Just to give you an idea of what this is gonna look like. So this one is a lot tougher. More pieces, it's gonna be tighter fit. There's no give because of this centerpiece, so it's gotta be pretty close to dead on. So, I'm a little bit nervous that whether or not it's gonna fit. But uh, this is now ready. Well, I've gotta glue this up first, then I can glue the whole casing up. So, I guess that's next step. Let's get to it. Okay, I've got the sides glued and pin nailed to the top. And uh, I'm going to let that get nice and dried and cured before I put the centerpiece on because uh, I don't have enough clamps otherwise. Alright, I decided to go ahead and get that center one in. Um, I do have three of these. I, I couldn't do both sides, but that should be good enough. I only had one other clamp long enough. Um, so I wouldn't be able to clamp both the top and the bottom. So I put in a couple of screws on the bottom because this is all going to be inside the wall so you will never see it. So that was my extra clamp that I needed was uh, some screws. So I think that'll do it. I've got, you know, it's pretty tight in there. So I feel pretty good about that. So I'm going to let that sit up for a while and uh, then we'll come back and get the uh, sill installed. All right, final glue up. Get an idea of what uh, this one's going to look like. Um, I hope that it's square. I believe that it is. Because I've got, uh, you know, this all lined up everywhere. So the only question is, is the window square? That is a question I'm not sure I know the answer to. So, but anyway, I'm putting it together. I'm going to take it down there and hopefully it'll uh, slip in. But I'm going to let this last glue up dry and cure for a few hours and uh, then I'll start sanding this down to a final sand and then I can uh, stain and uh, poly it. All right, so here is the raw finished product. Um, I still need to stain and poly this just so, you know, to protect it and uh, have it match. And here you can see what it looks like upright. Uh, it'll be in this position when I get it installed in the window. But that is just gives you an idea. So uh, let me get to uh, staining this, and uh, we'll be right back. So we got this all done. This is ready to load up and take uh, to the cabin. So I got both of these done. But uh, I'm going to load these up, and uh, we'll get them out at the cabin, and we'll get these installed. And uh, hopefully it's going to fit. I am a little bit nervous about that just because it's a lot easier to fit one hole. But trying to fit two, it's going to be a little tricky. But uh, if it doesn't fit, we'll make some adjustments. We'll get it in there. So that's going to do it for this uh, week's video. So I'll talk to you guys later.